What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammack, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about uh, forgiving a narcissist for cheating. How do narcissists look at you after you forgive them for cheating and reconciling the relationship? Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much. So if you forgive a narcissist or a toxic person for cheating, they take that as permission to do it again. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. A lot of narcissists and toxic people like to play on your emotions. They'll cheat on you and then use your emotions against you. They'll weaponize your empathy, make you feel sorry for them, make you, and then you end up forgiving them. But what a lot of people don't realize is that most narcissists view your empathy and view your emotional connection to them as a weakness of yours. They view constant forgiveness and reconciliation as permission. Like you're signing, signing a permission slip for them to continue the behavior. If you forgive a narcissist for cheating on you, you probably won't catch them cheating the next time in the same way. And also, if you forgive them for cheating on you, they're going to expect complete forgiveness and you can't bring it up again. Because why would you forgive me and continue to hold this against me? Narcissists do that to you, but you can't do that to them because that's, there's where the double standard comes in in a relationship with a narcissist. So typically, when you forgive a narcissist for cheating, they'll just do it again and again and again because they think you're okay with it. So welcome back, beautiful people. And like I said, welcome, welcome back. If you forgive a narcissist for cheating. So that creator, you know, uh, self love fairy. She posts a lot of good stuff on on TikTok. So follow her, the self love fairy. But her her question said, "Can you talk about what happens if you forgive infidelity with a narcissist?" Woo! What do I start with this one, y'all? How do we bake this? How do we bake this cheating ass bread correctly? I feel like we need to preheat the cheating oven to three fifty. Then you know, need need the cheating dough. You know, put some butter, put some cheating butter on it and pop it in a cheating ass oven and, <laughs> and set the timer for 30 cheating ass minutes. Y'all, I, so I'm a, I'm a huge proponent. Like people are going to say, I know what you're going to say. Everybody has their own perspective, but this is mine, y'all. And I am a narcissist. I'm a hu huge proponent, a huge, like not proponent. I'm a huge supporter of not forgiving narcissists for cheating. I'm, I absolutely am because you know why? Because I know that if you forgive me for it, I'm going to play the good role, play the good person for a little bit. I'm going to be good to you. I'm going to treat you right. Probably love bomb you. Probably clap the cheeks like, 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 like they've never been clapped before, like a different round of applause, a different beating, beating of the drums per se. Um, but sooner or later, I'm going to fall back into that same mindset that got me to the cheating point in the first place. I'm going to fall back into that pattern. And once I do that, I'm going to do it again. And I'm going, I'm going to think that you're okay with it, or I'm going to think that at least you will forgive me again for it. And so I tell people like, don't forget like, y'all. That's what gets so many people so caught up. And it's it, like, it's appalling how many people I speak to that have forgiven cheating, gotten cheated on again, and then again, then gotten left for somebody else. It is absolutely appalling how many times did this has happened. It just is. I'm telling you, a hundred thousand percent. It's absolutely appalling that this has happened so many times. Like you, you forgive them for cheating. You're like I, I got cheated on, and I forgave them, and they did it again, and they did it again, and they did it again, and then they left me for somebody else, and I'm now I'm broken. Y'all go to therapy. That's what a million percent I'm going to tell you right now. If you forgive cheating four, five, six times, go to therapy right now. Get out. Look. Turn up. Close the computer. Turn the phone off. Go to therapy right now. Because this is not, that's not right. You don't, the codependency, whatever, the trauma bond is insane and it's going to ruin your life. It's going to make you, it's going to ruin your life because they're going to treat, and they don't care about wasting your damn time either. They'll go over here and, over and go over here and sleep with 20 people. A woman in my comment section to this video on Instagram, she said, uh, she forgave, like he slept with four prostitutes and I forgave him. And then he left me for somebody else. Y'all. Look at you for prostitutes. And there's nothing wrong. Like, look, sex work, get it how you get it. There's no judgment zone here. But you, four of them. She caught him sleeping with four of them and then dipped. Then he dipped on her. You know why? Because he thought she, in a narcissist's mind, if you constantly forgiving them, they start feeling sorry for you and they start viewing you as weak to them. <clears throat> they absolutely do. In a narcissist's brain, 
if you can constantly forgive them for cheating on you and things like that, they will absolutely 100,000% start viewing you as a weak person to them. Like, damn, I can get away with anything with this person. They will literally forgive me for every single thing that I do to them. They, and they, and like, they won't hold me accountable. They don't do, and it gets boring getting away with it so easily. Narcissist people, narcissists like to play games. They like the, the feeling of getting away with it. Give, gives narcissistic people a high. Trust me, I know that. When you get away with, when a narcissist gets away with something, it gives them a high. It's like, it feels good to get away with stuff. So once they get away with something too much, once they find out, figure out that you're too forgiving, they view that as weakness. And a lot of times they will discard you based on that. They will cheat on you 20 times. You'll forgive them 20 times and then they'll leave you and they'll leave you and you'll be the one that's broken. You're like, oh no, they left me. I thought I forgave them for them and for all that because they don't view you as, an, they, they all, they never view, viewed you as an equal, but now they view you as less than what they, they viewed you as originally. So the more time you forgive a narcissist, the more they look at it as permission to continue that behavior. They absolutely do. That's why I keep telling people like, you, the more you forgive them, the, they look at it. They, when you forgive a narcissist person for cheating, it's like you're signing a permission slip for them to do it again. Like, here you go. So and so has cheated on me four times and I can want them to continue. That's how they view it. I know that's not what you're doing. I'm just saying that's how narcissistic people view it. They view your kindness, your empathy, your forgiveness for them cheating on you as weakness and they will take advantage of you, cheat on you again and discard you. I'm like I said, just it, it, that's how it goes right there, y'all. I'm just I'm a huge supporter of not forgiving narcissists and toxic people for cheating. I just don't. I, I know I wouldn't if I was an, an empath or a codependent or empath. Uh, um, <clears throat> I know I wouldn't forgive you for cheating on me. You know what I mean? But like I said, because I know my, how my mind works as a narcissist, y'all. That's what I'm telling you. The more you forgive them for cheating, the more they view that as permission to continue that toxic ass bad behavior. Whatever behavior got them in this situation, they are going to continue doing that because they view it as permission. They view your cheating. They view your forgiveness as a weakness. They just do. I keep telling people that all the time. They, they view that as a weakness. They just do. I mean, but, but Lee, I wouldn't do that to anybody. I know a lot of times people get caught up with narcissists because you try to apply the way you, you try to apply non-narcissistic thinking, I guess normal thinking for lack of a better word, normal thinking to them. They don't like we as a narcissistic people, we don't think emotional. We're not emotional. We're not emotion based creatures. We are logic, logic first. Give me the logic. Take your, remove your emotions from it. Give me the logic. Cause that's how you, if you want to learn how to talk to a narcissist, take your emotions off the table. Talk logical. Don't talk emotional. I feel if you're going to use the word, I feel you lose. I feel, I think you lose. Right, logic is based on fact, <laughs> evidence. I think, nope, I feel, nope, you're gonna lose. So again, if you forgive narcissistic people for cheating, this is what is gonna happen. Yeah, they're gonna make it seem like you're okay with them cheating on you and they're gonna keep doing it. They're gonna keep doing it over and over again. And you're gonna be mad as hell. Like, I just, they, I, I just want them to love me as much as I love them. You're going to lose y'all. They're not ever going to love you as much as you love them. I promise you. They're just not going to do that. Dude, can a narcissist love you? How are they treating you? How are they treating you? Y'all? Are they treating you like they love you? Or if you if you treated somebody the same way that this narcissist or toxic person is treating you, would you consider yourself loving that person? No, absolutely not. You're like, no, I don't. I wouldn't look. No, hell no. So again, apply that to your life. You know, apply it to your life. But I tell people all the time, y'all, like, this is it. Like, if you're dealing with a narcissist, this is absolutely it right here, y'all. This is it. I promise you. They, they, you keep forgiving them for cheating. They look at this. They view this permission. And sometimes they might not leave you, y'all. They'll just, emo they, they might not physically leave you after you forgive them for cheating 20 times, but they'll emotionally discard you. They'll emo because cause sometimes they'll, they won't physically leave you because money, whatever, convenience, the situation, whatever. But they'll emotionally get rid of you. They they will. I talked to a woman uh, last year sometime, and she's like the relationship wasn't that bad. And she knew she was getting cheated on, but the the part the part that made her the angriest that he wouldn't sleep with her anymore. She's like he doesn't sleep with me anymore. That makes me so angry. And I was you know she started crying. But you know how I have to do you. I have to I have to break the state. Tony Robbins says you have to break people's states. When people start crying, I just made it, I had to make a little joke. I was like I was like why's a woman? Because he's tired from all the cheating. And she just busted out laughing. She's like, "Thank you, I needed that laugh because that's what I do, y'all. I have to, I have to bring humor into it to to break people's state. You know what I mean? So, y'all, if y'all are getting cheated on, 
cut that person off, y'all. It doesn't get better. I promise you. You don't deserve it. I promise you. you know, people, like, I can tell you you don't deserve it, but they're going to keep doing it. They're not going to get better. They're not going to, you know, magically change overnight. I promise you it's going to continue to get better, and you're going to be mad as hell that you, you kept forgiving this person. In the end, you are going to lose. I know I hate when people, people hate when I say that, but in the end, it's going to be a, a net loss for you because you kept forgiving this person. You just did. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to hop off this thing. I got a one-on-one here in a second. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate every, say, every, single thing, every single thing y'all do for me. As much as I learn from you, as much as y'all learn from me, I learn even more from y'all. I probably do. <laughs> like and subscribe. Thank you so much.